Alright, what's up my beautiful people out there, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram land, it's your boy Rome. Today we're going to do a quick video on an update. If you guys remember, I purchased uh, just recently this Andy Cine blogger monitor mount. And for the most part, this is a really good mount, depending on what it is you guys are going to be using it for. My goal was to be able to mount this on my uh, small rig cage. And what I liked about this mount is that it does allow the monitor to swivel. But ideally, that's not the most important thing to me. The most important thing to me is going to be stability. So that's kind of where my problem started. Being able to mount this somewhere on the rig that would be um, practical and also dependable as far as its um, integrity became a problem with this specific mount. Now, I've seen a number of people using this exact same mount. They're using it in their hot shoe or they're using it someplace else. Else, but usually they're using it um, only with a monitor and not a microphone or something as large as the microphone system that I'm using currently with my uh, little running gun rig, which is the Zoom F1, you know, with the interchangeable microphones. So I just decided that this is not going to get me where I needed to go. So I went back into research mode and I started taking a look at some of the offerings from small rig and what would best be suited for the specific type of cage system that I have uh, that I'm already using. So without having to re you know, buy a new cage or something like that, I just decided that this wasn't going to get me where I was trying to go. And, you know, one of the most important things, you know, when you're out on a shoot, man, is that you want to feel like, you know, your gear is safe and that no matter what's going on around you, you don't have to worry about, you know, something happening and, you know, your monitor flying off or a lens getting damaged or anything like that, because this equipment is very, very expensive. So let's take a look at what I've been, uh, what I've decided to go with, and I'll show you guys exactly uh, what it has to offer. This is the unit that I decided to go with from Small Rig. And as you can see here, if I can detach this one. This one uses the Airy mount. And the advantage to that is that you have a much larger screw that's going to allow it to fit into this uh, small hole here. Now you have another area mount on this one as well. On You have two on this particular cage. And they also have these little small indentions that you can see here that look like little teeth. And that helps hold this rig, uh, this mount in place. So I'm a big fan of that. So let me see if I can get that mounted back down here real quick, just so it stays in place. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, there we go. So you kind of get the idea how this works. And then once you have it attached, they come with uh, a number of different uh, Allen keys. And if you look closely here, you can see that there are little small detention holes. And what you would use the Allen key for is to tighten this down even more so you don't have to worry about this uh, coming off at all. And then the, the most important thing I wanted was for it to be able to tilt. So whether it's um, going to be on a monitor that I'm using to view the screen as to what I'm recording, if I'm doing something like what I'm showing you guys right here, or if for some reason it would be used for something a little bit different where maybe I wanted to see myself while I'm recording, then that would also give me that ability. Now, the disadvantage, the disadvantage to this uh, system as it is now is that I would have to remove this and then rotate it or either loosen it from the monitor itself here and then rotate the monitor if I wanted it to be facing to the rear where the normal monitor is. But honestly, that's not that much of an inconvenience, you know, when you're getting this type of, you know, stability. Now, I do believe, and I'm going to have to do some research, I believe that um, Small Rig does have another mount that's similar to this one that also rotates, but I'm not really sure on that, but I will check. And if I do find one, you'll see it here, you know, I'll drop the uh, information right here on the video. But the problem that I was running into was once I mounted the monitor, as you can see here, this would be the only place where my finger is. 
that I would be able to mount this microphone. And there is no way that microphone was going to fit into such a small area because it basically would, would butt up against, it would butt up here against the uh, bottom of the monitor itself. So it's no way it could fit there. So realistically, I could have used the Andy Cine and just used this little slot here on the side. And then I could have just mounted the monitor far off to the side, but you know, you know how we are, some of us, you know, we like symmetry, we like everything to be where it's supposed to be. So I like the monitor to be right over the lens, facing back or facing forward. And it, it helps with stability when you're gonna be lifting up something like this and you're gonna hold it for whatever reason it would be. So what I had to do was, I took apart, I'll show you guys here real quick, if I can spin this around. I took apart the handle that was originally on this rig. And if you can see there, that's what the microphone is mounted on right now. So the original handle, this is the original handle here, and it fit, it, it fit into a little slot that fits in right here at the bottom. And I just took this apart. And then by doing so, that left me with somewhat of a platform. So let me see if I can disconnect this really quick. Drop that one. So what it allows me to do is to then mount the entire uh, microphone onto this platform. Now I could do it from the opposite side. As you see here, there's a number of different um, mounting points all over the back of this. And I did have to purchase a small rig cold shoe mount, but I'd already done that a couple of days ago. So I already had one of those, but easily enough, I could just you know flip this over in the opposite direction. The only disadvantage to that is that it would put this knob on the top side here versus underneath, you know, where it doesn't become a problem, where it's not gonna interfere with anything. I kind of like it, you know, where it's, it's underneath, you know, the unit. So I think that's gonna work out best. So easily enough, I would just slide this in, lock it in place, and then I could just tighten this down, like so, it'll lock down. After a moment, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so at that point, you know, the only thing left to do would be to, you know, plug in the microphone. And I'm trying to maintain as best um, cable management as possible, you know, with the way that this is working out. But it seems to be working pretty well, so I can't really complain about it too much. So I just want to show you guys really quick, you know, what this would look like and what I've been working on. So, like I said, again, the advantage to this is that it gives me the opportunity to use this microphone along with any of the other modules. So if for instance, so if for instance, I wanted to use a side mount microphone, all I would have to do is just replace it, unplug it, and then boom, that microphone is there. Or any of the other microphones that Zoom offers, you know, this would give me an easy platform to mount and connect to this unit. Now, this cage that I'm using currently was designed for the Sony a7 III, and currently I have the Sony a7R2 um, inside of it. So there are some you know, issues with the way that it fits. There's, you know, it's a little bit smaller, the camera body, the A7R2's body is a little bit smaller, but for the most part, once everything is secured inside, there shouldn't be any issues. And I guarantee you eventually, you know, once I decide on what other cameras I may uh, upgrade to going forward, most likely I will keep the a7 III and it may at that point become um, one of my B cameras, you know, with the similar type rig. All right, guys, so I don't want to keep you guys any longer. I just want to drop this uh, little video really quick, you know, something for you guys on Instagram and Facebook and you know, to show you exactly where I am in the process of putting this little kit together. And if hopefully this video has helped someone, if so, you know, leave a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them also in the comment section, or, you know, just hit your boy up in the, uh, the message, uh, you know, chat, and I'll do my best to answer any questions that you may have regarding this rig or anything else like it that I, you know, personally have experience with. All right, guys, until next time, it's been your boy, Rome. Peace. 
I am out.